Hi everyone. In this video you will learn how to model moving heat sources using a customized drag and drop a module of transient we will create the geometry, the workspace, set up the model and, open and get the geometry results. cell in a space claim. If you want to know how to install this ACT on Workbench, go to the description of this video. Drag and drop a module of transient thermal to the workspace and open the geometry cell in a space claim. We will create the plate first. Draw a rectangle from center and use the pull tool to generate the solid. Now draw the pipe. You can use the upper surface of the plate to do it. After that, we use the split tool to cut the body as required. We need to modify the geometry and generate a starting point for the heat source. Try a different approach if needed. Open the mesh cell to start the setup of the transient thermal analysis. In this case, we don't need to create contacts because of the use of shared topology. Create the mesh refining on the edges at the interfaces. To get more realistic results, we will include different boundary conditions like convection and radiation. Create your setup accordingly. If you prefer, Create one or more name selections to simplify the selection of the surfaces. Now we need to set up the heat source but it's not available in the boundary conditions. We must enable the ACT first in the ACT start page. Begin selecting the faces where the heat source will be moving, then the path and the starting point. For the complete circular path, we will use two heat sources. Select the speed and the radius of the beam. And finally, the time. Repeat the same process for the second heat source, but keep in mind the time sequence. The model is ready to be solved, but first, create an automatic plot tracker to see the temperature results as they are calculated. Finally, create a counter plot and assess the results. You can explore the data in different formats and even create an animation as well. If you want to know how to get the ACT in Workbench, go to the description of this video.
And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.